Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with over 25 million records sold worldwide. My God, this Grammy Award winning crooner willed his way to the top of the R&B world and beyond with classic love songs like Do I Ever Cross Your Mind? Come on, come on. Anytime. Yes. Back at One and Love of My Life. And with a voice laced in love and light, he's become an unwavering force in music. That's right. He joins us now to chat about his upcoming album, Bedtime Story, his journey through the music Music biz and much more. And before we get all up in his business, let's listen in on his new single, When I'm Gone. It's getting harder and harder to read when I'm gone. Yes. Yes. Please welcome the incomparable Brian McKnight. Yay. Have a seat, sir. Well, sir, we're so happy to have you down to the circle. Yes, I'm glad to be here. Yes, good, good. Just came back from Australia. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? Well, let's start before that. I was in Japan. Okay, where okay. I did Excuse eight us. shows in four days, and mm -hmm. then we got home for a day. Then we flew to Australia. Wow. But that wow. was a, a charity event um, for one of the biggest neurosurgeons in the world. My wife works in that field as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I do that event for him every year. And uh, we sort of use that as a vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, mm -hmm. you can see all the... <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, we, had a, we had a great time. Good. We flew home and just a, it's that part of the year where I have so many shows back yeah. to back. That yeah. it's just... I used to be able to just show up. Now I got to rest. Yeah. <laughs> Things have changed. Things have changed. Yeah, 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 they really have. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Brian, I know. <laughs> that you really like to play basketball. And you don't just like to play basketball. You get with the people down to the court you in get real busy. life. I used to. I used to. This is this is my last year playing in the Pro-Am. Okay. And the, hearing you talk about Mother's Day, they schedule the game on Mother's Day. <laughs> the last game of the season that we had to win to get into the playoffs. So I had a show Saturday night in Louisiana. Uh-huh. Flew home on Mother's Day. My wife is, she is. She's probably so mad. She, you know what? She, she rolls with it. You know, <laughs> really? She, so she, sweet. She, she rides with me Silently. no matter what. Silently yeah. we roll with it. Now, now, who you got for the championships though, Brian? Because uh, you know, I love the Warriors. I know that ain't everybody's team. But the I, Warriors are my team. Okay, okay. good. Yeah, that's yeah. my team. It's hard to go against the best team. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Would you tell somebody? <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah. keep doing it. I, know. I don't know why they yeah, wouldn't I've been do rolling it. with Steph since Davidson, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He's good, 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 good stuff. So many talents that you have. I mean, you play instruments. My you can God. do everything. I mean, you're, you're just gifted. Brian. I've seen you play gifted. all of them. So let's talk a little bit about musicianship and where R&B is right now. Uh, do you feel like it's still embraced? Uh, I think it is. Every night on stage, I look out at the audience and I realize that I'm so blessed that there are still people 27 years yeah. after I started that still come out and support me. And I, mm -hmm. and I, I have that moment, I had another moment on stage. It doesn't happen every night, because I, I think if you do it so much, it's hard to get that moment. But last night, you know, after playing for an hour and a half, and I'm playing this one song, and everybody's got their phones, and they're doing this thing, I was mm -hmm. like, wow, they still love yeah. me and this music that I wrote that I could have quite possibly written while I was using the bathroom, that they right. still love. <laughs> These songs. Yeah, it's but it's amazing. timeless music. Yeah. How does that make you feel? It like when you real. have that moment. It's 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 indescribable. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Now what do you think about the controversy of this King of R and B title foolishness when <laughs> Jackie said that he was the king the Kang. He said he was the Kang of R and B. Well, I can't fault him for what he thinks. Mm. If that's what he thinks, that's what he thinks. I like. Yeah. I really like. I don't know Brian. if there's He's a king. Really of, <laughs> I mean, if there was a king for me, it'd be Stevie. Stevie oh, is. Of if, if you're gonna go up against Steve, I, I, my, more power to you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you're working on your 13th album, Bedtime Story. I don't know what number it is. Is it? Uh, wait, we need to research. Wait, we've I got think it's great 15. Folks. If is I really 15, thought about it. If you really it, thought about it. But I don't know. There's so, uh, a lot. There are any record stores? You can't walk in a record store and say, right. "Oh, there's all the records." But I've seen them. <laughs> I think before the show, they show how many there are. I, think, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So when you go into, you know, uh, writing a new album, what is your approach? Like, where are you mentally? And like, what do you pull from? You know what? I never stop writing. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't say, okay, I'm going to write a record now. There's uh, something new is going to come in today. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, though, is pointed because it's, a, it's an entire record of lovemaking music. 60, 60 minutes of, of love, love making. making. 59, 59. You might need 10. I don't know your situation. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know, you know. But you right. said most people need 60. Most people, I, I'm okay. giving you 60, so from beginning to, to end, end right. you, you, don't have to, you don't have to tell Alexa, switch this, <laughs> or do that. You know, you can just let right. it play. Right. Well, Brian, yeah. we're so happy you're here. We're also happy that you'll be staying with us a little longer. Make sure you check out uh -huh. Brian's new single, When I'm Gone. It's available on all digital platforms. And don't forget the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're back with the one and only Brian McKnight. Yes. Yes, yes. Right now, you are probably, well not probably, arguably one of my favorite songwriters oh, of all God, time. Yes. Especially, God, yes. especially the love song. I mean, what side of Brian will we see in this album, considering you've written so many love songs, how will you come from a different perspective? Well, the same perspective for the last five or six years when I met my wife, mm -hmm. it was the first time I ever knew that love really existed. And you know me a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I wrote from what I saw everybody else doing, and now I'm writing about me. What you yeah. She has been my inspiration. She has been, every single song I've written since the day we met has been about our life and mm -hmm. our love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, this album is, a, is another reflection of our everyday life. When Aww. I'm Gone was about me on a plane to Japan and she gets to go to about 80% of the concert. She's seen 600 shows in five oh years. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And she couldn't be at that one, and that's where that song comes from. You know, we miss each other constantly. If we're gone for five seconds from each other, it's always, oh, I miss you already. It's like, yeah. we still Aww. have that all the time. And um, it's, it's seeing the real me that I finally can have real feelings. I have them for the yeah. first time in my life. It's like, what's this wet stuff? Come <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm giving you an, uh, a portal into that. You're space. really Intimacy. in love. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> How does yeah. it feel to be? I mean, we thought you were vulnerable then, but Never. now you're. Well, if you listen to the lyrics of all, of all those other songs, they're very on the surface, very for the moment. Hmm. I'm finally writing about forever. I'm writing about, mm. you know, what it really means to to live a life with someone. To love someone else more than you love yourself is really what that's about. My God. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm gonna need you to hold up love <laughs> and, uh, down to the men. The <laughs> ba you know, back in, in 2012, uh, you released a song. Let me show you how your blank. Uh oh. Works. Did I? Yeah, you did. And and it was received mixed reviews, and you took a chance. That was a risk. In actuality, it uh -oh. was a it was a parody. It was a parody. Oh. I did it for comp for uh, Funny or Die. Ah. And we did the video there, but for some reason, if I sing a song like I would normally sing every song, yeah. regardless of the lyric, people are going to think that it's for real. You yes. Can't, you can't sing no bad. You got to sing, <laughs> sing bad. But you got to well, sing bad. I couldn't get on Saturday Night Live and do D in a box like right. Justin Timberlake, right. so I did my own thing got over it. here. When everybody thought I lost my mind, I'm like, right. no. <laughs> But I will say this, one of the most clever songs I've ever written in my life from the perspective of a woman's sexual toy that he's talking to her saying, you need to know yourself mm -hmm. before you can expect somebody else to, to know you. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't take it that way. All they focused on was this part of the song. I yeah. tell people, listen to all the words before you. But, but you anyway. got, next time you do well, we a you got to sing it bad. Yeah, we couldn't get <laughs> past the hook. <laughs> the hook was real special. But the hook is eight bars long, right. not one bar. Right, 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 exactly. Speaking of hooks, <laughs> um, you have been hooked with lots of amazing um, artists, mm -hmm. big artists, Celine Dion being one of them, mm -hmm. my most fa one of my most favorite singers. Is there anyone left that you would love to do a duet with still? Wow. Uh, there, there's always somebody. I get, you know, you, you get DMs to Instagram all the time, like, oh, can you do this? And I, I would sing with anyone. If we can get together and sort of find a song and, and be on the same page, I think beautiful music can be still made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just folks have to get together and actually make it. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah that's true, T. With all, the, all these years in the music industry, what's the biggest challenge that you face? Obviously, Selena's here and talked about right. a lot of her challenges. For you, what's been your greatest challenge? Well, you have to invent yourself to begin with. And once you invent yourself, Keep if that's even possible, then you have to continue to reinvent yourself, but not lose sight of who you are. Who you are, and that's the toughest part, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. really tough. Yeah. What's your spiritual journey like? Oh. That's a good <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> now, you, you spoke of experience um, when it comes to writing this record, mm. but you know, as artists, we're always still very conscious of our fans and what they want as well. Do you ever find yourself in the studio like, okay, I love this, I mean this, but is this gonna touch 
my fans and is the world going to be able to receive it or do you even care about that anymore? Mm. Well, I've always believed that if I love something and I put that passion into it, there has to be somebody else out there that feels exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. If it's one person, fine. If it's a million people, that's fine too. But if I start worrying about what I think somebody else is going to think about what I do, mm -hmm. then I've lost me. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. I've always, I try to be an individual. I, I, I don't look at other records and say, oh man, I need to do that, I need to do that. I'm just like, how can Brian be Brian? Mm -hmm. That's what my mother taught me. Mm -hmm. I, know that's I wanted right. to be Stevie. <laughs> and I sit there and I play and I do all this stuff. Yeah. And she was like, we already got it, Stevie. Who are you going to be? And that's right. what I, I constantly hear that in my yeah. head. Do you teach your sons that too? Because they all I are amazing. Sing. By example, you know, I, I've never really been the dad who was like, you got to do this this way and that way. They sort of, if they came, if they come to me or, or have come to me, I, sh I give them my advice. But mm -hmm. you know these kids today, they grew up today. Yes. They're going to do yes. it their way yes. until True. it doesn't work. Then they're like, right. well, how come you didn't say <laughs> Like, you know, I've been doing this. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of Selena's uh, va favorite venues is City Winery, and yes. you're going to be there. Sold out shows. Of course yeah. it is. Of course. What can the people expect? Well, it's intimate. Yeah. And it's uh, just me by myself. I'm getting yeah. to play. That's what, you know, That's like sitting in my fun. living room just at a piano and... And um, it's just, it's the way I started. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. nice to do that and then go do those big shows again. So I like, I like, it can hone my craft again. Good, well, good. Brian, it has been it's such, such an a, honor. A, pr a pleasure and a privilege yes. and an honor to have you, you here. Make sure you purchase Brian's new single, When I'm Gone. It's available on all digital platforms. And be on the lookout for his new album, Bedtime Stories.